Hi everyone, welcome to today's video and in this tutorial I will be showing you on how you can actually make this kind of typography. So this is called the airbrush lettering and it's super simple to do and let's dive right in. So for this video I have chosen this 1000 by 1000 si pixel size document and I've already given a name to my do uh, document as well called the art brush lettering. So before I start, I would also like to make sure that I'm in the right window, which is I'm in the essentials classics options right here. Then only I will be able to see all these tools right here on my screen, which will be helping me to make my art brush lettering. All right. So the first thing we want to do is to make the brush, which is this shape right here. Okay. So to do that, we will be, oops, uh, wait, yeah. So to do that, we will be making these types of lines first. Yeah, so we will be making these types of lines. So to do that, I will be using my pen tool and I do not really require the fill as of now and I let the stroke be black the way it is. I'll zoom in a little on my document and come over here to this corner. Okay, let's start by making simple lines like this. Click on escape to get rid of the pen tool and I will be making several copies out of it by clicking on alt and then clicking on ctrl plus d to make more copies like that i'll select all of these and i will be uh, now changing the stroke weight of these lines so by default it's the stroke weight is one but we can go ahead and make it a little thicker say 10 points you can make it you know, if you like, if you feel that 10 is too much, you can go ahead, stick to 6 probably or probably even 8. Whichever one you feel looks pretty good to you. And I think 8 does. Okay. I'll zoom in on this. Now what we have to do is make these type of cuts right here. Right? For that, I will be coming down over here to the eraser tool and choosing the scissors tool right here. So what I'm going to do is just click on certain parts like this. And if you see that if you select this blue path right here and click on delete, it gets deleted like that. So you can go ahead and make cuts like this and make the cuts wherever you want to do and how big or how small you want these cuts to be. It's completely up to your choice and probably just one more here like that. Once you've made it, initially you can't really see what you've done. but if we use the selection tool and move over like this on our lines, we can see where we've made the cuts like that and keep deleting them like that, this. So you can go ahead and also like increase some of these lines like these. By clicking on shift and the arrow keys like that. So that there is some type of asymmetrical type and it looks good. Like this. Probably just go it up a little bit more and just this one. Like that. Like this. Okay. 
and just probably just one more over here because there's a little too much gap right here like that okay so once that's done i'll select all of this and make another copy by clicking on alt and dragging it like this so once that's done i will right click this and make a group out of it and while it is still selected i want to also expand the lines that we just made to do that we'll go to object and click on expand and just click on okay make sure that the fill and the stroke options are selected like that okay so i'll select this drag this down like here i'll zoom in a little bit more like this and now we'll make several copies out of this one as well by clicking on alt and just dragging our mouse like that so i'll make another copy like this and probably just one more copy like that okay So once this is all all my copies have been made I'll select all of them right click and group them together like that so Once this is done now we want to make this rounded shape like that In order to do that I'll zoom in on this first end right here and i'll be using the rectangle tool i'll make sure that the fill is black and there is no stroke so just make just oops do not do that yeah just make one simple rectangle like this as we want in this part probably just expand this a little like this okay now select all of this and come here to the shape builder tool now what i want to do is that i'll be combining all do you see all these portions like these right i'll be combining all of them together so i'll be just clicking and dragging my mouse across like that and making sure it's like this same thing on the other side with these lines as well this almost done like that now just select this one oops wait i'll come over here to the direct selection tool select this rectangle because it's not needed like that and probably i'll get rid of these as well because i do not require those so i'll make another rectangle like this a bigger rectangle bring it a little closer like that probably just expand this a little bit more okay come back here to the shape builder tool and deselect all of them wait Oops. Okay, wait. Or probably that's not required. We can just hmm. Oops, I just missed out one step. Okay. So coming back here like this. What I'll do is that first I'll get rid of all these lines like this. Make this a little bit more bigger. That 
by using the shape builder tool i click on alt and then just drag my mouse like this click on the shape builder tool and then just deselect whichever parts we do not need and combine every all these parts right here like this yeah now it looks a lot better so what i'm going to do is that i'll select this point and this point and bring it a little forward like this and while these two anchor points are still selected i'll round the edges off completely like that and now with these lines we will select these anchor points and just play around with the length like that and just bring this one downwards like that now we'll select all these anchor points again and i'll round the edges of like that okay so now we'll be repeating the similar process on the other end as well like over here okay so i'll go back to my rectangle tool make sure that the fill is right there and just make one big rectangle like this just make sure that it falls in line like that okay i'll probably just also bring this one a little bit more closer like this this one as well okay now i'll select all of them go back to my shape builder tool and just combine all of these lines again so it can be a little time taken like this like that okay so now we'll be doing the similar process right so I'll select these two anchor points bring it a little inwards get these anchor points select these anchor points and then just play around with the lengths like these and like this one similarly on the other side as well make sure that you're only selecting the anchor points you want to deal with So it's okay if it's uneven because that's what we want. Okay. Wait. I'll just select these and bring them. Okay. So I'll select one by one. I'll be selecting all these anchor points again and round it off like that. Similarly, on the other side with these lines. I probably just want to round the edges off like this carefully selecting all the anchor points making sure that nothing is missed out and I'll select oops it requires a little patience actually but these rounded edges actually will make your this style look a lot more better like this okay so we've got this so now what we're going to do is we will select all of this paint brush that we just created go over here to this brush tool right and just drag my brush over here like that so this pop up box comes up so this type of brush it's an art brush so i'll select that click on okay 
and just choose the brush from the brush scale options i will be using this scale proportionally and let the rest stay as it is no other changes as of now and click on okay and as you can see our brushes now has been added on our brush panel right here so we can go ahead and close that and i'll just get this on top here and probably just rescale the size oops not it's too small like that and now what we're going to do is we'll go to the text uh this type tool and click on our artboard and i'll type in any letter so i'll be typing the letter s and i'll select this uh yeah scale this and probably increase the font size to 200 if you want you can let the font style be the way it is so by default it's myra myriad pro and i'll just go ahead and make this bold i'll actually increase the size even more from 200 i'll make it 500 like that because i want this to be bigger so now once that's made i will right click on this click on uh, select this create outlines and swap fill like that so that the the uh, the stroke comes out like that okay so once that's done so what i'm going to do is i'll be going back to the pen tool you then choosing the add anchor point tool and adding one anchor point on the middle like that and the other one like Okay. Now I'll be using going back to the direct selection tool and just choosing the for the two anchor points I just made by clicking on shift and then deleting the stroke like that. Once that's done, I'll select this, right click, ungroup, select this again, right click. and release compound path once that's done i'll be using this blend tool right here clicking on this one anchor point and this anchor point like that so that this middle line is made okay so once this is still selected we'll go back to the object and click on expand like that okay So once that's done, I right click again and ungroup this. Okay. So carefully, I will be selecting this first, these two outer strokes like that. So you can see it becomes blue. The these two parts have been selected and delete. So now we just have this middle line as a path. Now what we're going to do is. select this middle line that we had made go back to the brush tool and select the brush we had just made and voila a brush has now been proportionally scaled like this on the letter s like this so i'll make another copy out of this like that okay so we can also reverse the direction of this so to do that while my path is still selected we'll go to object path and reverse path direction like this so but in case if you want to change the color instead of having a black color we can select this go to object and click on expand uh, appearance like that and over here from this drop down box we can choose any color we like So you can choose a purple color or probably pink, red, like that. So let's also add a gradient to it, right? To do that, I'll make another copy like this. Okay. 
So I'll right click on this and I'll choose this make compound path. Go over here to this gradient tool right here. So by default, you can see that it's black and white. And probably just choose like this. Or nah, actually I'll just let it be. I do not really require the gradient like that. Okay. So once that's done, we can go ahead and save our file. To do that, we'll go to File, click on Save As. So as you can see, by default, our file name will be Artbrush Lettering and our Save As type will be Adobe Illustrator. I let it be the way it is because in case if I want to make any change, I can easily do that by accessing my Adobe Illustrator file. And clicking on save. Yeah. And okay. And that's it. I hope you found this video to be useful. And with a little practice, you can also experiment with different letters as well. And thank you for watching and stay tuned for more.